All right, sync, 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 camera one, camera two, let's go. So DJI has refreshed the Osmo Mobile 6 phone gimbal. It now comes in this nice platinum gray color. It's cheaper and now features Active Track 6.0. The refresh is actually pretty nice and we'll talk about all the specs later, but I kind of want to focus on why this gimbal is perfect for travel. <music> I was traveling to the Bahamas with my family and I couldn't bring all my camera gear, but I did bring a camera bag filled with five days worth of clothes, as well as a sling bag, which stored the Osmo Mobile 6. All right, so check this out. I'm able to pack the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 in my nomadic sling bag, along with my Sony a7R5, 24 to 70 uh, G Master Lens Mark II, uh, a microphone somewhere in there, and I can easily pack it up just like so. Boom. Now on the trip, I used three different smartphones, the iPhone 14 Pro, the Xperia 1 Mark V, and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is the phone you see right here. And if you're one of those people that have like freakishly large hands that requires a large phone, not to worry, this gimbal can handle a payload of up to 10 ounces. What's 10 ounces converted to pounds? 0.63 pounds. 0 0.63 pounds. Why would people carry a phone that heavy? That's just weird. All right, real quick, let me show you how this gimbal works. Here it is fully upright with the phone attached and to pack down the gimbal, simply take off the phone because you know, it's magnetic. And after that, just simply fold the gimbal in on itself and it, it'll automatically will turn off, which is pretty nice. And there you go. There's your nice and compact gimbal. Ooh. And because of this really cool design, I was able to easily pack this into my sling bag. And then to fully assemble the gimbal, just attach the tripod on Underneath, there you go. Whip out the handle. And because of the magnetic phone clamp, just simply snap it on and now you are set. Beep boop. I know, I know I've attached it backwards. It's because I kind of want to show you what phone I'm using. Like you wouldn't want to see a blank screen. I'm doing it for the aesthetics. All right, let's talk about the biggest update to the Osmo Mobile 6 and that's Active Track 6.0. First of all, it's more accurate for human subject tracking and you're less likely to lose the subject due to obstructions or jump to another person, especially in multi-person scenes. The tracking is also more agile, so it's now easier to follow subjects at close proximity. Also new in Active Track 6.0 is tracking for zoom. This is great if you want to track and zoom on a subject from far away. Also new is quick subject regain, and that's when the subject leaves the frame, the gimbal will actually find and follow that subject again. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna do a quick stabilization test without the gimbal and with the gimbal. Ooh, I forgot to mention that there's an extension rod built within the gimbal. It's pretty cool if you wanna do like selfies gonna extend the gimbal just like so and then move the gimbal like that and just you know take video selfies of yourself or with a group of people it's kind of nice and again if you want to pack it away super easy just close down the extension take out the phone just fold the gimbal it'll automatically turn off take out the tripod and then you can just simply just pack it in your pocket pretty cool look at that gimbal in my pocket and there's some other cool features too that I didn't really mention, I don't really have time for, like you can film hyperlapses, time lapses, and there's even AI guides to help you film some pretty cool camera shots. And all of that can be done in the DJI Mimo app. And real quick, here's how you operate the gimbal. All the buttons are in front of you right over here. On the top is the mode button, and that will allow you to cycle through the different gimbal modes. There's follow mode, tilt lock mode, FPV mode, and spin shot. 
In follow mode, you can actually move the gimbal all around, whether it's up, down, diagonally, but remain stable if you accidentally rotate the gimbal. This is the mode that I actually use 90% of the time. With tilt lock mode, the gimbal will only pan left and right, which is actually great for follow shots. In FPV mode, the gimbal kind of just follows your movement, almost simulating an FPV drone. It's not my favorite, but you can get some pretty cool shots. And in spin shot, you can use the joystick left or right to control the rotation of the camera and film some pretty cool dynamic shots. Also with the mode button, if you want to turn it off, just press and hold and it'll turn off. Below that is the record button, and if you use the DJI MIMO app, you can actually control the camera and start recording video by pressing the record button. Below that is the quick switch button. If you press it twice, it'll go into portrait mode, press it twice again, and it'll go into horizontal mode. Next to that is your joystick button. It's, it's a joystick. You can move things with a joystick. And then moving on to the side is your side wheel button. That's used if you wanna zoom in on your shot, again, using the DJI MIMO app. And then on the back is your trigger button. If you press and hold it, that will lock the, the phone in place, almost like holding a chicken and like their heads don't move. This is chicken mode. And then if you move the gimbal in a certain position, if you press it twice, it'll go back to the original position. And then to uh, charge the gimbal, you can just plug in a USB-C cable right over here. Now something that's kind of overlooked, but I kind of like how this gimbal just kind of turns on and turns off by itself. If you want to turn it off, just take off the phone and then fold it in and it automatically turns off. And then to turn it on again, just unfold the gimbal. It's called quick launch and then attach your smartphone to your gimbal just like so. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so pros and cons. Uh, Nothing but good things to say about the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. I mean, it's compact like a smartphone gimbal should be. I love how it folds in on itself. I love how easy it packs into my camera sling bag. And it's a phone gimbal that does the job. Like I'm able to film smooth looking cinematic videos with this gimbal. Now, do I think phone gimbals are necessary these days? Probably not. I think a lot of smartphones have some pretty good stabilization, especially with the iPhone 14 Pro. But if you did want to film really smooth, cinematic looking video, especially for your travels, then yeah, I definitely recommend a phone gimbal like the Osmo Mobile 6. I do love the new platinum gray color. I love how much cheaper it is. That's always nice. And ActiveTrack 6.0 is pretty awesome. I mean, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm quite lazy. And so I just mainly use the native camera app on my phones to, to film video footage anyway. But if you wanted to utilize the full potential of this gimbal and you want to film time lapses, hyperlapses, you want to track people, do all that fun stuff, then definitely use the DJI MIMO app to do all that stuff. But that's that's kind of it. Like, just, again, nothing bad to say about this gimbal. It's a, it's a phone gimbal that works. And if it's a phone gimbal that works, then it's a phone gimbal that I want to recommend to you. So if you want to check it out, links will be down below. Thank you, DJI, for sending this over to me. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions about this gimbal, let me know in the comments below. But I, I'm kind of... I'm kind of sad, not gonna lie. Like, like I just came back from the Bahamas. I'm here now getting back to work and I don't, I don't like it. I just wanna be at the beach all day. And so if you wanna cheer me up, you could like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you in the next one. <sighs> I miss the Bahamas.